Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Terry here, and today we're going to do some detailing on my wheels and my tires. Let's make that Z3 beautiful in just a moment. Go ahead and we'll get a nice close up on how they are right now. And you can see there's a lot of crud on the wheels from driving it on the road. So we're going to get all that grease and grime off here. Make sure everything looks good. Redo the dressing on the wheels and uh, make it shine real nice. So this is pretty much the condition that all of them are in. So it's pretty dirty. So let's tidy up a bit. All right, the products that I will be using, I've been quite happy with. I am not sponsored in any way, but uh, these are good, solid products. There are lots of uh, amazing products out there to choose from. This just happens to be the one that I uh, have been using lately, and it's uh, Dura Coating. They got the nice wheelie clean here. I got their brush to, you know, really get all that grime off. The second step, which is the uh, cleaner with a detail brush to you know get anything extra off that needs to be done and then when that's all finished the uh, dressing to really make that tire shine so let's get the cleaner on there and uh, get started all right so we're gonna do the wheelie clean first we just go ahead and spray this stuff on it's already pre-mixed and ready to use you are able to dilute it a little bit further if you prefer to do so, but I just use it as is. It works fantastic. Uh, it's a great degreaser. I love it. And it is safe if you have uh, clear coat paint and polished wheels, just like it says right there on the bottle. So uh, just make sure you uh, don't use any of the cleaners in direct sunlight. That's why I made sure to wait for today because it's a little bit cloudier today. Uh, just, uh, it, just to make sure the sun doesn't cause any kind of hazing or streaking. So do this in the shade. Go ahead and uh, spray it on. You want to leave it on for at least a minute. So I usually just go ahead and spray it and let it sit in real good and get all that grime off. I will not do all four at once because I don't want one to dry. It's very important you do not let it dry. All right, and if you look, you can see it's already starting to get all that grime is just starting to kind of like pool up it's very good all right it's had some time to uh soak in and work on degreasing i'm going to go ahead and start doing some scrubbing it's got a real dark coat of like gr rogue grease and stuff on the inside of the wheel so i'm definitely making sure i'm getting all of that Between the caliper is a little trickier. So get all that out of there. And then we'll rinse, and then we'll get a better detail on everything else. This is mostly just trying to get in the inside of the wheel. We'll use the nice detailing stuff for the outer part, because this is the wrong kind of brush for that. And you'll see I have a lot of grime left over. That's where that detail brush is going to come into play. Make sure you get it off your rotors. Now making sure 
I'm getting all the way deep down across the old inside of the wheel. Thankfully, I don't have really tight spokes, so I'm able to get it pretty thorough clean inside my wheels. Likes to get stuck right behind where I got kind of going on an angle to get it directly behind the the joys of cleaning your wheel. And you can see how well this stuff works. I've already done a couple of rinsings, and the degreaser is still working very well at getting all this grime off. Now it'll be easier if I just back the car up a bit so the top becomes the bottom, but uh, I'm going to try to save time and do it this way, which is definitely not the right way. Now let's get a better detail on it and get the rest of it on the uh, outer side taken care of here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add a little more wheelie clean to the outer part so I can use my detail brush to get that off. Stuff's already pretty loose. Oh, the sun's starting to come out. There, I'll try to create shade. Keep it off of the sun off of this tire here. Definitely not the best with my left hand. Getting in between the lug nut or the bolts here. I forgot European cars don't have lug nuts, they have bolts, but uh, getting in between these is always a pain. But yeah, this stuff's coming off very easily. I'm not applying a lot of scrubbing power behind this at all. This stuff works great. Oh, yeah. Really brightening up. The sun is also helping with making it look nicer, too. At least I got the cleaner off. Couple little spots, yeah. What I really need is a small brush to get in between these spots here. I don't have anything really for these tight spaces here. I also want to make sure all the, because I got the degreaser and stuff, I'm trying to get the rotor, because the last thing I want is there to be any dirt left over on my rotor, and then I end up scratching deep into it with my brake. That's pretty good. There's still some grime deep in here that uh, it would be easier to take the bolts out and then scrub in there. But I don't feel like removing the tire. So this is good. I'm not going to any shows anytime soon. So it doesn't need to be immaculate. I just want it to look nicer right now because it was getting pretty bad. All right. And then once you've thoroughly rinsed all of the wheelie clean off, you next will go on to step two, which will be the Dura Cleaner, which will be for the tires. Now make sure that you keep it close to the tire as you spray and make sure it's set into, the nozzle is set to stream. It's very important. You do not want any kind of overspray when it comes to using this product. They also recommend wearing gloves. Of course, I'm not doing that. 
So I'm just going to spray it closely to the tire. And then I'm going to use the brush and get the tire all nice and scrubbed down. This is going to get rid of all of the grease off the wheel. The tire is going should be pretty dirty. And we can't put any sort of dressing on until we get all of this off. really work it in and I usually will do this a couple times because I don't want to mess up my dressing so I'll put it on rinse and repeat the step maybe three times go ahead and rinse this off All right, and uh, we'll apply it a second time. You can also put it directly on the brush itself. I'm going to kind of rinse the brush out. All right, and let's do the second scrub. Oh yeah, you can really see just from one scrub, look at the difference in the suds. Before it was very, very brown. And already by the second scrub, you can see that pretty much all of the grime got off on one scrub. That's how great this product is. So I think I'm just going to do two on here. I won't need to do a third application. I just wanted to make sure the tire is thoroughly cleaned so I can dry it and add my dressing. All right, and then you just got to thoroughly dry the, the tire and the wheel, and then you can do the dressing. All right, and the final step is to put the dressing on. Make sure the tire is very, very dry before you start putting on the dressing. And I usually put on a couple coats just to give it a really good shine. Once again, this is the dressing here. And if you buy the kit directly from the company, they'll even give you a nice sponge to apply it. That'll fit perfectly around the tire so you can get a nice, good finish. Go ahead and open the bottle. I will usually put a little bit in the uh, sponge. Come and get it to go around in there real good. And then just go nice and around the tire. Get it all rubbed in. And I like this sponge because it's the shape is perfect for the tire, so you won't have to worry about it getting into your tread. Other dressings you have to spray on, and then you risk getting them on your tread. So this is a nice way of uh, applicating it. And I just kind of get a little bit more on there. I think two applications is plenty. Just make sure you try to keep it as rubbed in and even as you can in case it's a little heavier in one spot. Try to spread it out. And 
and then there you have it. Looks pretty good. It'll look a lot better once we get in the sun, but you can see the contrast between the tread and the face of the housing here. could probably go for a third coat if I want it to be a little shinier. Just don't want to put too much on. I'm going to do a little bit more, but not a lot. All right, there it is. It looks beautiful. Fire is nice and clean. The wheel is looking good. There are still a few spots where there's some grime because I need a better brush. But otherwise, I'm pleased. All right, and if we go around, the car is looking good. We'll still have to do a full detail on the actual car itself. But today, I just wanted to get the wheels done. And they look so good. This one over here was the dirtiest of the four, and it's looking pretty good. All right, everyone, there you have it. We went ahead and got the tires and the wheels all cleaned up nicely. Nicely done. There was a lot of grime on there from the road. Very pleased with the results. Like I said, there's still a little bit more cleaning that could be done if I had smaller brushes to get into time up, to get into some of the tighter spaces. But overall, you know, I'm not going into any more car shows for the season because we're going into winter now. So I just need it to be, you know, clean enough so that way it still looks good. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. But uh, I'm very pleased with it if you were checking out this video because you were curious about the Dura coating products. Uh, I do recommend them. They do work out quite well. You can buy them in a whole kit. I'll have the link down below in case you want to go ahead and check those out. Also, keep in mind that when it comes to the dressing, one of the things I will mention is there's definitely a difference when it comes to uh, the dressings that are out there on the market. Uh, you'll see the dressings that will have that really high, like, glossy sheen that make it look like your tire is wet all the time. But those tend to uh, leave, like, a residue on your tire, and they don't last very long. Uh, so you, you, you have those options, and then you have what we have here with the Dura coating. And this is my second time using it. I, it's been at least four to six months since I last applied the dressing. Um, and I will say it does have a longer lasting effect. However, it doesn't have a super high gloss. So if you want that super high gloss, keep in mind that you're not going to get that with this. At least I haven't been able to achieve those results. Um, and I usually put a couple coats on it and I clean the wheel thoroughly and I can tell that there's dressing on it. The wheels look sharp, but it's not like that fresh wet look that you'll see from other products, which is fine for me because I don't really like that high gloss. It looks tacky to me. It just doesn't look natural to me. So this definitely makes the tire look more natural, like it's a brand new tire, uh, which is why I prefer this product. Uh, so it's up to you what your preference is. Do you want the tire to be more natural, like a brand new tire kind of look, or do you want to have that really high shine, kind of high gloss factor going on? So keep that in mind. But otherwise, great products. I really do like them. I do recommend them. Uh, they're great for what I like to use them for. Um, there are a lot of other products out there that I've been wanting to try out as well because I'm always open to trying out different things. Just because I have a product that I stand behind doesn't mean I can't find another product that might even be better. And I'll never know unless I keep trying products. So I'm going to keep trying them. I usually use the ones I like until they run out and then I might experiment with something else. If I don't like that one, I'll go right back to the one I had previously. But uh, it's good stuff. So thank you for checking out the video. I need to go change because now my pants are completely soaked with water from having to kneel down on the ground. 
and uh, get all full of water. But uh, the, it's, the job is done. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Please leave a like on the video. Uh, subscribe. Tell your friends. Word of mouth is powerful. And uh, leave a comment if there's anything uh, you are curious about or want to recommend that I do next with the Z3. Love to have some feedback. You guys are all awesome. Check me out over on Instagram at CoolCatTerry, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.